Well, good morning, Crossroads. You're looking live in Cuero. You can see it's not super foggy over there in Cuero, but I promise there are some areas in the Crossroads that are seeing that dense fog. So just be careful before that fog clears between 830 to 930. But nonetheless, it's 60 degrees in Cuero, a little bit cool out there, 2.6 degrees off. That's why you're not seeing the, the fog with the humidity at 81%. But if you do see the fog this morning, don't worry. That'll clear right up to some sunny skies, like I said, between 830 to 930, because looking at your future clouds and radar, you can actually see some of the leftover fog that's going to kind of burn up going up to the sky, turning into clouds, but that'll all burn off right to sunny skies today. You can see on your future clouds radar, not a cloud in the sky. At least this computer is thinking for today. There were a few clouds that developed yesterday and I weren't thinking they were, but today I do think it will be pretty sunny. That's going to bring us another warm one. Not feel like November at all. It's November 12th. Yesterday we got up to 91 degrees for November 11th. Today, I'm thinking of a high of about 86 here in Victoria. We're going to be a little bit cooler because we're getting the rest of the, the remnants of that stationary front that came through over the weekend. That's going to finally blow through our area. Highs along the immediate coast, you're going to be in the low 80s, I'm thinking. I'm thinking 83 for Port Lavaca today. But in the background, we got some low, nice pollen today. Uh, it's going to be nice to us. Low grass and ragweed, that's going to even be nice. Air quality is good today. And your UV index is going to be high with that beaming sun. So I might be careful to put on some sunscreen if you have some sensitive skin. But look at your marine forecast. All that's going to add up for a great day today to get down to the beach. Smooth waves out there, one foot or less, and your water's still pretty warm, hovering around 80. But our air temperatures are going to be around 80 after the front comes on Wednesday night, and then we're going to have a big front coming next week. We're going to look at that and the tropics coming up next.